Hey, welcome back. You know, we talk on this channel sometimes about the aviation lifestyle. And you might say to yourself, what the heck is that? Do me a favor, click the like button. It's right down there. Subscribe to the channel because it does help the algorithm as we grow the channel. And I can't thank the subscribers enough. The channel keeps growing week after week, video after video. It's amazing that this is so little known outside the aviation community. But within the aviation community, these events happen all over the country, large and small. You just get yourself involved in some way. And I think you're going to find that there's an aspect of aviation that has nothing to do with the major airlines. It's nothing like the charter companies. This is grassroots, literally, general aviation for moms and pops and kids you really owe it to yourself to check this out. There are great examples all around the United States. The biggest and best might be AirVenture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, which happens every summer. Before that is Sun and Fun in Lakeland, Florida, which happens every spring. Thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of pilots, aircraft, and just people who are interested in aviation gather to watch air shows, look at vendors, camp out, basically spend their time talking to other people about their aviation interests, whatever those interests are. And it might just be sitting in a lawn chair, watching the airplanes fly around. That's a valid part of the aviation lifestyle. Years ago, I went and camped at AirVenture once out in the field, and there are thousands and thousands of people camping there. It, it's an amazing experience. But what really surprised me, and I didn't expect this at all, almost everyone camped near me was not a pilot. But they'd been coming to AirVenture for years. They loved it. They loved the technology. They loved the people. They loved the sights and the sounds and the show and all the things that go on there. But they didn't actually fly. They were aviation lifestyle enthusiasts. There are literally hundreds of smaller regional or local shows like that all around the country every year. There's probably one near where you are. So if you check out social media, if you talk to folks down at the airport, if you look for posters on the wall, you may find there's a really interesting event that's very affordable, easy to get to, and really opens the door to whet your appetite for what aviation might offer you. One that's really worth looking at is Triple Tree Aerodrome. Now, Triple Tree is Sierra Charlie 00, SC00, that's the airport identifier. It's in Woodruff, South Carolina, and it's out there in a very rural area, but it's hundreds of acres. And people come in for a variety of events throughout the year. I was there twice this year, once for the young aviators fly in, which is specifically focused at young people, people in their teens and 20s who are getting into aviation. Some are pilots, some are mechanics, some have aspirations to be air traffic controllers or engineers, but they gather there and they just kind of do a fellowship thing. They support each other, they share information, they enjoy pizza. It's just a great opportunity to sit around with folks who have similar interests and learn what their thoughts are and what their experiences are. And maybe we pick up something that we can put to use in our own lives. Most recently, I was there for the big annual fly-in. Happens in September. And you have to understand, Triple Tree is a remarkable place. The runway is 7,000 feet long and 400 feet wide. That's a big runway and it's grass. And the entire place looks like it's maintained by a PGA landscaper. I mean, it's beautiful. It's golf course quality grass and just gorgeous. People fly in and pitch a tent next to their airplane. People come in in campers and spend several days there. I rode in on a motorcycle all the way from Central Florida and just kind of walked the grounds and hopped a ride with folks on golf carts. They even have school buses. It's such a large facility. School buses take you around to the various locations. It is absolutely amazing, but it's a classic case of living the aviation lifestyle. People come from all over the United States, all ages, all types of aircraft, just to hang out and talk to other people who are interested in aviation. 
grab some scrambled eggs and sausage and a biscuit and have breakfast with people from another state who fly a different type of airplane. Or maybe they don't fly at all. They're just interested in this lifestyle and it is a remarkable experience. The hangar there where they store their own aircraft is really awe-inspiring. There's all kinds of aircraft there. There's a BT-13. There was a, there was a P-40 on display out on the runway from Warbird Adventures, which used to be here in Central Florida. Now they're in South Carolina, but you can actually fly T-6s and P-40s with them. It's amazing the breadth of what's available to you if you're interested in aviation. There's also an air cam in that hangar, which they use to give rides during the events. I used to own an air cam, a twin engine, tail dragging experimental airplane originally developed by Phil Lockwood and Lockwood Aviation for National Geographic to use for low level photography over the Congo jungle canopy. This airplane, the kit version is not that much different than the original. It's all kinds of fun. And if you've never experienced it, you owe it to yourself. Even if you don't go for a flight yourself, just to watch the joy people have flying this remarkably wide open airplane. It's just not like anything else. Controlling this throughout the event, there are controllers up in a World War II era tower that was moved from a World War II airfield to Triple Tree. It's only open for the big events, but it really does take you back to a time when aircraft flew off grass and controllers were much less taxed than they are now at JFK or LAX or any of the really big Bravo airports. This is a remarkable thing, which culminates with a dinner that has to be seen to be believed. Up on a hill, not too far from the runway, is a cluster of buildings where the hangar is and the restoration center and the education center. This is a full outfit. They've got everything you could possibly want there. There is a patio with a fireball and that fireball is just a steel sphere with the, the Triple Tree logo cut into it and they set a fire in there at night and that thing just glows red. It's astounding but it's on this beautiful stone patio with tables and chairs set up really like the best al fresco restaurant you've ever seen. And it's right next to a short stone wall with a view of the lake where folks go and fish and they camp around it. This is a remarkable experience. And if you get the chance to go to Triple Tree, feel free to look it up online. That is an outstanding opportunity for anyone on the East Coast to go check out the aviation lifestyle in its best form, where people just cluster and gather and chat and drink coffee and hang out together. It is an amazing experience and that's the start of the aviation lifestyle. Some folks like me hop back on the motorcycle and ride home. Some people jump in their car and they head back to where they came from. Some people jump in the RV or they return it if it was a rental. Some folks pack up their tent and their sleeping bags and their Coleman stove and they stick it in the airplane and they fly off to wherever they came from. So keep an eye out for what type of aviation events might be happening in your area and go. Just check it out. If you have even the least bit of interest, even if you are an airline pilot, a freighter pilot, a corporate pilot, and you say, you know, I miss people flying off grass. I miss just sitting at a picnic table, putting my feet up and chatting with people who have similar interests, who are from very different parts of the country and have very different lives than I do. The aviation lifestyle is absolutely available to you and you don't have to be a pilot or an aircraft mechanic or an air traffic controller or an engineer to enjoy it. Just go out and dip a toe. See if it offers something to you and your family. I have a feeling if you actually get out there and take a look at it, if you experience it for yourself, you're going to find general aviation has a place in your life too. Please do me a favor, click the like button, subscribe to the channel and share the videos you find interesting with your friends on social media. It all helps us grow the channel and I can't thank the subscribers enough every week every video there's more of you and i really really appreciate you being a part of the mad props experience y'all take care and we'll see you right back here on your personal device real soon